All right, it is a sunny morning. It's the day after Thanksgiving. No school for the boys. and um, But we're going to go ahead to the gym. Get a little workout in. Boy's going to play a little bit. Roman, you have... Going to go hang out with a friend later. All right. Yeah, 10.30. Yeah? Okay, cool. And so hope all of you had a great Thanksgiving whenever you're watching this. We had a really nice one, uh, which is which was awesome. Ate some good food. Delicious food. I was in charge of bringing rolls. So they didn't give me much a very difficult job. <laughs> so I had an easy one. And... And um, and so today, what's today? Uh, today is chest, triceps, and a little bit of shoulders. And so we'll get through that. Whoa. Uh, hopefully the gym, I don't know if the gym's going to be crowded or not. You know, Black Friday, people shopping, not shopping. I don't know if Black Friday is as big as it was because you can do everything online now. And, um, and so well, I guess we'll see if it's busy or not. But either which way, get a good, a good lift in. And ha have some, have some fun with the boys, boys later. So, boys, did you have fun yesterday? Yeah. yeah. Ben's Ben has a neighbor that's in our class. Ben has there's a guy in our class named Abel, and he's super close. Oh, okay, maybe. Well, we don't know. You have to ask his parents. Okay. All right, let's talk to the people here. I gotta talk to the people. All right. Talk all awesome, all of you guys listening, right? And so with, with work, with business, it's all about communication. And this is important. If you're a salesperson, communication is imperative. If you can't communicate well, is your, your sales are not going to get to where you want them to go. Um, really, it's not even just in sales. It, really, in anything, if you have poor communication... Uh, you have poor communication. You're going to have you're going to have issues, and so don't take communication lightly. And when it comes to communicating and how people receive what you're saying, there are three important keys or three important things that impact how a person receives what you're saying. One is the words that you say, the actual words that you say. Next thing would be is how you say it, your tonality. And the third thing would be, the third thing would be your body language. And now of those three, what's the most important? The words you say, how you say it, or your body language? Well, the most important thing to how somebody receives what you say is how you say it, the tonality. Way more important than the words. The actual words that we say have very little sway, actually. It's how we say it that matters. If you think about, you could take a... Just take this sentence, that guy. Those two words, that guy. However you say it, the way you say it completely changes the meaning. You can say it, that guy. That's a question. That guy. You're angry. That guy, if you're into that. You know, how you say it matters. Also, your body language. So when you're talking with people, how you say it and the body language that's behind it, is way more important than the actual words. Even if you're on the phone, body language plays roles because people can feel your body language. They can feel if you're slumped over. Because why? Is because your body language also impacts how you say things. And as you are working on improving your sales, be very conscientious of how you're saying things and also the body language that you have behind it. Now, there are other things, too, that goes into how you say it, like your volume of speech, your rate of speech, those types of things. That does matter. That's another video for another day. Very important, you know, mirroring and, and matching to a degree. Uh, but first, we want to really think about how we say it. You even notice how I said how we say it. Like I said, you would be very careful or conscientious of how you say it. That's one way to do it. Or you could say... Be very conscientious of how you say it. It's no, I, I emphasize the how. Very, very simple, right? But that changes the impact of how a person receives it. So as we're talking to people, think about how we are saying it. 
and the body language you're doing it. And here is a great way to practice with everybody. You know, if you have kids, with your kids, your significant other, if you are at the coffee shop ordering a cup of coffee, be very conscientious of how you say things. And then also your body language. It's amazing how if you go out in the world doing random things, whatever it is, and you are intentional about how you're saying your what you're saying and your body language behind it is how much better people respond to you than they respond to other people. You're in a line at a coffee shop. You see how the, the barista is helping the person or you know people in front of you. But then you come differently with how you're talking with them and you're communicating with them, and your body language behind it, and you see that their mood can turn completely around. And that mood actually then that they have that gets turned completely around changes their day. It goes from a bad day to a good day and also how they interact with the rest of their customers. We'll talk more about that as we go. But here is my Lincoln, my oldest boy. And uh, that, that's it for now. He hasn't given me my birthright. He hasn't given me the blessing yet. I have to give he you a blessing, a birthright? Okay, say something to everybody. Uh, follow on my dad, so then you'll do great because you were doing really good. But if you don't want to do great, follow on my dad today. And also, Ooh, I told you to spit on my microphone. <laughs> stop that. Roman, anything? Never gave up. <laughs> <laughs> my boys are silly. See ya.